The trees were so loud that I actually thought one of the trees hit our house, and my husband and I ended up diving underneath the coffee table because it was so extreme, because a huge tree did hit our house. So it was really scary. Remember that? Ten years ago today, this is what Kansas City looked like. Ice-covered trees, broken power lines, darkened homes. That ice storm crippled the city. And today, Eric Schultz caught up with a couple who has a reason to celebrate this anniversary. You want to be on TV? Becky and Ryan Parshall can smile about it now while they hold their five-year-old son, Kobe. But ten years ago, it was no laughing matter. NBC Action News caught up with them in 2002, just days before their wedding. A massive ice storm had paralyzed Kansas City and surrounding areas. Trees and power lines came down. Hundreds of thousands of people lost power, including Becky and Ryan. We lit a fire and we uh, had a gas stove, so we turned the stove on and opened it up and tried to keep warm as best we could. She says downed trees in their yard piled up nine feet high. It was a storm unlike anything most Kansas Cityans have ever experienced. Usually our ice storms have maybe a tenth of an inch to a quarter inch of rain, and then the amount of ice is about a tenth of an inch thick on the power lines and trees. Gary says the ice in 02 was about an inch and a half thick. Too much weight for most trees and overhead lines. Becky and Ryan didn't know if this Midtown Chapel would get power back in time for their wedding. Becky couldn't get out to buy shoes, and Ryan didn't have electricity for his razor. I didn't have a goatee at the time, but I couldn't shave either uh, with my, without electricity, so uh, I just let it go. In the end, the chapel got its lights and heat back, Becky got her shoes, and the wedding went ahead. Ryan kept the goatee for these pictures, but shaved it soon after. Now, with two kids, this couple can look back and be thankful. An ice storm for the ages didn't derail their big day. Mm -hmm. Eric Schultz, NBC Action News. <laughs> wow. I remember that so well. well your, your power was knocked out My for days. My power was out for days. days. We slept in front of the fireplace and uh, same thing. Mean, when, when it stopped, though, it was almost worse. Remember, it was all crashing down. Freaked out my dog. Yeah. She flipped her stomach. She had to have an emergency oh, surgery. Wow. It was I remember that really well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had friends stay with us for about five nights, and uh, people were out without power longer than a week at times. So, uh, it was bad crazy. storm. Can you believe that? Nothing like that now. Hopefully, we don't see it. Ten years ago, the ice storm.